guys welcome back to my channel it's Brandy here and today we are getting ready for Instagram so we're gonna start off with Too Faced Hangover RX primer this smells so much like coconut I shared it in my favorites video and it is purely amazing and then we are gonna go in with Maybelline's Age Rewind this is the neutralizer color so it's kind of just a yellow tone it really neutralizes my under eyes and I absolutely love it and I'm just blending that in with the Beauty Blender. And then this is the Revlon Color Stay Whipped Foundation in the color 150 Buff. I'm applying my foundation first because I like how this foundation, um, the longer it's on my face, the better it looks. And I think everyone has, and their mother has said that. But pretty much I'm just dabbing this in with my, or tapping it all over with my finger. And then I'm using a Sedona Lace Angled Kabuki Brush. And there's my cat. <laughs> Um, I don't, I normally love using the Beauty Blender, but when it comes to this foundation, it's so much thicker that I prefer a brush. And this is my all-time favorite brush at the moment, so I have been really enjoying it. God, there's a lot. I'm looking at the TV, there are tornadoes going on to the left of me, and then the mailman with my ColourPop order is in front of my house right now so I'm really excited <laughs> and then we are going to basically I just added a little bit extra in the places that I need it and then I'm going to go in and conceal my under eyes this is MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW I can't remember if it's NW or NC but I'm pretty sure it's NW15 and I'm just doing the triangle underneath my eyes and if I seem distracted and I keep looking down it's because I'm watching Nicole Gura's new vlog so I'm like kind of sidetracked and yeah she's amazing <laughs> She's cracking me up the entire video, so I had to edit a lot of this video. And then we are going to go in with the Max Painterly Paint Pot, which is my all-time favorite um, eyeshadow primer. So I pretty much include that in my foundation routine now because it's just so much easier to go ahead and pat my under eye concealer on top of it to set it, which is the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Powder in Banana. I like to go in with this first, and then I go in with Max Sculpting or Shaping Powder in Emphasize, just so that way it brightens up, because the yellow is a little too dark for me, which is weird, but it is. It's too dark. So yeah, this is the Emphasize powder that I was talking about. It's, you can't really see the name of it, but yeah, it's Mac Emphasize, and it's purely... Oh my God. And now that I'm over the amazement of Nicole's packages that she received in the mail, we'll go into bronzing and contouring. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This is just a sample, and the sample has literally lasted me like two years. I got it in an Ipsy bag last year. Okay, so it's probably lasted me a year, but seriously, I haven't even nowhere near hit pan on it. It's purely amazing. Legitimately, it's amazing. And I'm just using this on a Morphe brush that I got in the 682 brush set. It doesn't have any numbers or anything because it came in the set. But I absolutely love it and I recommend it for anyone. It was like $39 or something like that. It's the best brushes I've ever used. And we're going to go into um, setting our, or baking our contour. Which is, this is Dermot's Blend Lighting Powder in Dusk. I like this one because it's pink because I'm a pink toned person. I say that often. <laughs> and now I'm just going in, did I even show it? Okay, at this point I'm going in with the Max, um, Mac Pro Longwear, or Studio Fix, I'm sorry, Max Studio Fix powder just to kind of set everything. And then this is the Hourglass Ambient Blushes. I just go in and tap my brushes in all three, just swipe my brushes on all three, tap off the excess, and then apply it and look at the pretty rosy color it makes. It's gorgeous. And from here, this is the It Cosmetics Hello Light Illuminating Powder. And I don't know, it, I guess that's the name of it. And it's just kind of like a rosy kind of color. It's really shimmery and really pretty. And I just use a fan brush to apply that pretty much in like a little C around my eyebrow and on, of course, on the top of my cheekbones. And I'm really into that highlight game. Like, my highlight has to be strong. So, and sorry, I'm so, I'm totally distracted by Nicole's video. 
Um, but because I like my highlight so strong, I'm going in with Becca's Moonstone. Obviously, I haven't, since I purchased this, I haven't gone a day without using it. So, yeah. And then I'm just going in and just popping that right on the tops of my cheekbones just for that extra highlight. And then this is Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Blonde. Or wait, this might be, no, it's blonde. And I'm just going in with an angle brush. I'm going to try to quickly, I wet, I have an eyebrow routine. I wet my brush with Fix Plus. I go in and I just kind of fill them in. This is kind of just more of a lazy day fill in, so I don't really go into too much depth. Plus, I already have a routine for this. So I'm just going to quickly kind of skim through this. I'm surprised my eyebrows turned out the way they did because I was so obsessed with watching Nicole's <laughs> vlog. It's dangerous. I, I sat down to film and then I looked on Twitter just kind of for some inspiration and Van, she was like, you ready for an early morning update or vlog? And I was like, oh God, no music today. We're going to go straight for Nicole Guerrero's video. Okay. And then I pretty much just set that with the Maybelline Great Lash in Clear. It's my favorite brow setting powder for like the last probably 10 years. Seriously. <laughs> and from here we're using Milk Cosmetics and this is Blur. And it is like literally it's the perfect blurring shade. So it, it literally is perfect trans. I don't even call it a transition color anymore. I call it a blurring shade. <laughs> because of this color so yeah if you hear me say blur it's because I'm talking about transition so hopefully when I say that I use blur every time and I don't use something else calling it blur but whatever and then this is Mel Cosmetics and this is Unseen this is all from the Dark Matter stack it's the only one I have from them and this is just that perfect mustard camel brown it's disgusting color but it's amazing for the eyes so I'm just popping that all over the lid and blending it into that blur shade. And then this is Urban Decay's single eyeshadow in the color Sin. This is by far such a beautiful color. Like, oh my gosh, look at it. Look at it. Just look at it. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And this is Urban Decay 24-7 Liner, Glide On Liner, whatever, in the color Rockstar. Just popping that in my waterline. And then I'm using these three different mascaras, which is the Lash Accelerator by Rimmel, L'Oreal Voluminous, and then the Great Lynx from Ulta. And there's no certain rhyme or reason. I mean, it's just mascara. I didn't go for lashes today, so that's why I'm using so many mascaras. And I just got an update. We are under tornado warning watches crazy. So schools are letting out. It's just crazy bizarre. I live in Oklahoma, so it's crazy weather. So my phone's going to continue to do that. And then I'm just going in with the Lippy Stick by ColourPop Cosmetics in the color Lumiere, which is the Kathleen Lights color that she created. And I fell at doing eyeliner and lips on camera because I never am in shot. So this is what you guys are getting. So, yeah. <laughs> totally just saw my cheat moment of my clip in the back of my hair holding up my short ass hair but this is the naked palette naked two palette and I'm just using foxy just to um do my under um my eyebrow highlight god I'm such a stupid ass but anyways thanks so much for watching guys have a great day